Okay, let's do an example where we compute an average, in this case, an average temperature over a rectangular plate. Let's say that we've got this plate and the position on the plate is given by coordinates x and y. The temperature is given as the following function, constant c times quantity x squared plus y squared plus some other constant a. Now x ranges from zero to a, y ranges from zero to b, and what this temperature function looks like is you've got some constant a for ambient temperature, and then the temperature's increasing radially as you move from the origin out. The question is, how close is the average temperature on the plate to the maximal and minimal temperatures, where it's coolest at the origin and then hottest at that upper right-hand corner, A comma B. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is compute the average value of T. T bar is given as the integral of T over this rectangle with respect to area, divided by the integral of 1 over that same domain. Now we're going to write this as double integrals with respect to x and y. x going from 0 to a, y going from 0 to b. Now that bottom integral, well that's really simple. That's just the area of the rectangle. That's a times b. The top integral can be broken up into two parts where we're integrating x squared plus y squared, and then we're integrating a separately. That second integral, well, that's easy. I just get a after canceling out. And then the first integral, oh, integrating x squared plus y squared, that's not so bad. I get c over ab times quantity x cubed y plus xy cubed, all that over 3. Evaluate from 0 to a and 0 to b for x and y. Add the ambient temperature. Do a little bit of algebraic simplification, a little bit of factoring, cancellation. And in the end, what we get is c over 3 times quantity a squared plus b squared plus a. Okay, that's the answer that we get. That's not so bad. That's our average temperature. But the question is, how close is this average to the max and the min? Well, the max temperature is clearly happening at the upper right-hand corner, a, b. And that maximal temperature value is c times quantity a squared plus b squared plus the ambient temperature a. Likewise, the minimal temperature is happening at the origin, at the lower left-hand corner, and that is simply A, since X and Y are zero. So to summarize what we found, the average temperature on that plate, T bar, is one-third of the way in between the minimal and the maximal temperature, and it's, it's closest to the minimal temperature. That's a simple example of an average function over a very simple two-dimensional domain.